What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are revisiting a Pokemon that we already showcased on the casual ladder. We're gonna be using a competitive Empoleon team, but this time on the ranked ladder, featuring some brand new Pokemon all around it. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Seriously, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But our first Pokemon that we're going to be talking about is the Emperor Penguin Empoleon. With competitive, a brand new ability that it now learns in this game with the Assault Vest as its item. It's got a great move set of Flash Cannon, Hydro Pump, Blizzard, and Vacuum Wave. Absolutely love this Pokemon, especially when going up against Intimidate Pokemon. In our second slot, we got our support Pokemon. It is going to be Tornadus with Prankster and a Covert Cloak as its item. Got Tailwind, Rain Dance, Bleak Wind Storm, and Taunt. Not much more you, you would really want from a Tornadus, right? You got the Speed Control, you got the Weather Control, a little bit of damage with the Bleak Wind Storm, and then Taunt for support Pokemon. Come on, Tornadus, real deal in Regulation E. Ninetales is in our third slot. I should say Alolan Ninetales. This Pokemon is phenomenal in Regulation E with Snow Warning and the Light Clay as its item, so its Aurora Bell stays up for eight turns instead of five. It's got Blizzard, Moon Blast, Protect for its other three moves. In our fourth slot is another support Pokemon. It is the brand new Sinistra Pokemon. Great healer with the brand new Hospitality ability and the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got Rage Powder, Macha Gacha, Trick Room, and Strength Sap, which I believe to be the best moveset for any Sinistra. In our fifth slot, we got Okie Dokie, another brand new Pokemon added in this Teal Mask DLC. It's got Guard Dog with the Leftovers as its item, and Drain Punch, Poison Jab, Bulk Up for those stat boosts, and Protect for its fourth move. In our final slot, we got the Dark and Fighting Urshfu with the Choice Span as its item and Unseen Fist as its ability. It's got Close Combat, U-Turn, Wicked Blow, and Sucker Punch. This thing hits like a truck. Cannot wait to use it as a nice little back-end Pokemon. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Regulation E ladder, look to showcase Empoleon in some ranked battles. First match coming at you guys, and we're looking for a win here. We're going up against a pretty standard Trick Room team, and it looks like more of like a Regulation C, a Regulation B team, like Series 1, Series 2, with Ursa Luna, Iron Hands, Cresselia, Torkoal, and then Amoongus and Fluttermane. So like I said, pretty standard. You guys seen these Pokemon tons of times before, but how are we going to counter this, right? I feel like they're just going to set up Trick Room with Cresselia. Cresselia looks like their only Trick Room setter besides Fluttermane, and I feel like I could taunt it if I want to, but at the same time, it's probably Rock and Mental Herb. So I think going into maybe Light Clay Ninetales here could be a great call for us. We can pop the Roar Belt. We can really start getting after it. But they also have Torkoal that they can always swap into. Which is a little bit of a problem. So maybe we would rather just like bulk up at this point. What would I rather do here? What would I want to do? I could actually go Urge for turn 1, which I kind of like. I'm going to go Urge for turn 1. And who else are we going to lead? Again, it's really tough. It is really tough because weather is a big thing. We might want to bring Ninetales as more of a back end Pokemon, which I kind of like. And you know what? I'm just going to go into both of these guys. I hit hard with one. I could bulk up with the other one. And then in the back end, we're just going to go. Actually, you know what? We're going to lead Sinistra. Do I lead Sinistra? No. Back end Sinistra. And then final Pokemon, Empoleon. All right, cool. Lock it in, lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But going up against Trick Room teams is always such a pain, especially when you don't really have a counter to Trick Room. We have a small counter with Taunt, but again, like I mentioned, Cresselia, probably Mental Herb, so I don't even want to waste my time going into that. So I brought Sinistra instead, which Sinistra, not bad. We can counter Trick Room with it by popping Trick Room of your own to cancel it out. And that's what we're gonna try to do maybe later in the match. But they're gonna end up leading Iron Hands alongside with Crest. So they have the fake out option. Probably going to fake out my Urshu. A little scary. We don't like that one bit. We simply do not like this. That. Okay. Um. And I'm gonna choice into a wicked blow here. You know, I'd rather U-turn if I can. And I'll just bulk up. I will just bulk up. He's gonna go for the fake out. I knew that was coming in that slot. And I'll probably just hard swap into Sinistra at the next turn. Because he could drain punch me and potentially KO me, right? I'm gonna go for the bulk up. I'm gonna get all the stat boost. Lovely stat boost. And we'll go from there. So, the Trick Room, obviously, coming out here. We saw that from 55,000 miles away. So, the bulk up comes out here. I think we just save you, right? I think we just go into like Sinisha. I can see a Drain Punch pop in there. I really can. And then from here, do we Poison Jab? Do we bulk up? I think we just, uh. 
I don't know. This is kind of annoying. I have the water terror type, but I don't want to terrestrialize. I'm just going to bulk up again. I feel like this is just a simple turn to bulk up. They got physical attackers. I'm cool with that. I got leftovers. I like where we're sitting with the bulk up. So I'm going to go into Sinistra. Just because I feel as maybe a Drain Punch might come out from the Iron Hands. And Helping Hand is going to fly. Can you go for Drain Punch? Can you be lovely? Thank you. Cool. Awesome. So great read for us. We get off yet another bulk up here. So now we're plus two on attack. We're plus two on defense. And we wasted out a turn of triple. Which is just gorgeous. It's lovely. It is real lovely. Now from here, I'm going to try to just cancel the trick him out. And I'm just going to start throwing poison jabs into the Cresta slot. Cool. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Now's the time to attack. So we use the first turn for a trick room, and then we make a beautiful swap. And we have two great back end Pokemon while we're wasting out these turns. Yeah, so great call for us. Bulking up the Okie Doki. It's got leftovers too, which is gorgeous. It's got Drain Punch, so it has plenty of ways to get some nice HP recovery. So it ends up helping handing again, and I wonder who you're going after. You're going after Okie Doki here? Heavy Slam? Okay, that's fine. I mean, we soaked that all day. And you're going to lose some health to Rocky Helmet, which is beautiful. Now Poison Jab flies. And we're doing half damage, which is even better. And we get a Poison. And we get a Poison. But the reason why half damage is so big is because once I cancel that Trick Room like I'm doing right here, I can now go after Cresselia and be able to KO it yet again. So we'll do that, and on top of that, do I Strength Sap here, or do I Hard Swap? Sinistra. I'm gonna Strength Sap here. I'm gonna get the minus one attack. I'm gonna go back up to full HP, and I'm just going to finish off the Cresselia slot. Most Cresses do not Rock Protect, so... It's either Cresselia dies, or they Hard Swap into something that we're gonna be able to KO. Awesome. So, yo, Bulk Up Okie Doki Turn 1 and 2. Thriving for us. So he ends up withdrawing Cresselia. Okay, that's fine. Like I said, we're still hitting pretty hard with Poison Jab. And he's going to go into his real question. He got cooking in. Ursaluna, I'm cool with that. I don't mind that. Trick Room's gone. Trick Room's gone. You're going to hard swap into your final Pokemon. So we know your whole team. This is going to be Torkoal. We're Strength Sapping it. So I'm kind of hoping it's a physical attacker. And no, it's Torkoal. The Torkoal comes out here. Um, I don't mind that too much, right? Poison Jab's going to get cooking here. Do a little bit of damage. And Strength Saps can come out here. Basically just giving us some more HP. So I get back some beautiful HP. I think now is going to be the turn that we terrestrialize. Okie dokie. Yeah, we're going to terrestrialize Okie dokie. And I'm going to hard swap into... Do I do Empoleon? I mean, we do have a Soul Vest, which is pretty good. I'm going to hard swap an Empoleon. I'm going to terrestrialize you, and I'm just going to rip a Drain Punch into into this slot. I'm going to look to just KO Ursaluna. I'm going to look to KO Ursaluna here. As much as I want to go after Torkoal, because Eruption is just so powerful, I think taking out Ursaluna could be a great call, especially if it doesn't protect. Which I don't see it protecting this turn. I just don't. It already has his guts popped. I think it just starts attacking. I think Torkoal might protect. Torkoal could potentially protect if he can EQ. But this is why I'm kind of terrestrialized. I can kind of cover... I can kind of cover both my weaknesses here. I can be not very effective to the fire moves, and I can cover the ground weakness that Okie Doki has to Ursuline with his terror type. The Ursuline does end up protecting. That hurts the soul. It hurts the soul. And now Eruption's going to fly here, and I'm really hoping that Empoleon can eat this up. I know Okie Doki is fine eating it up. No problem for Okie Doki. But Empoleon with that part steel type, it's going to be heat wave. Oh, you guys both eat up beautifully. That's lovely. We like that. It's lovely. It is lovely. So I get back some nice HP due to leftovers. Um, I can take out Ursuline in one shot, no problem. And I think that's going to be my play, just to just drain punch Ursuline. But you could go in the crest. I could go into a flash cannon, but I just think Hydro Pump's going to be a call here. Even though there is uh, the weather's out and about, I just think that's my best call. Just hide your pump. So cool. I'm going to rip and drain punch into the Ursa Luna slot. You might withdraw it. And yeah, it's just going to go back into the crest and just sacrifice the crest. So crest is probably going to get the sacrifice here. Drain punch going to hit it pretty hard. I oh, know it's going to go back into Iron Hands. I don't, I don't mind that. Torkoal might protect here now. And yeah, he wants to get fake out back out and about. That's fine. That's, that's, that's cool with me. 
That's cool of me, so I'm just gonna drain punch. I'm almost KOing it, which is huge. I get a critical hit. And we'll go from there. We're, we're back up to full HP. And now what do we do? I think I just protect the Okie Dogie. You're gonna fake Okie Dogie out all day. Yeah, you're gonna fake Okie Dogie out all day, so I'm just gonna protect Okie Dogie. I just think there's no chance you fake out the Empoleon. We're gonna see a terror type from out here. Is that Torkoal? That young Torkoal? The boy? Yeah, Torkoal finally gets the terror type. Keep going in there. Perfect grass. Of course it's got grass. Perfect. Awesome. Lovely. So I got Poison Jab to cover that. I'm really not too worried about it. Okie Dogie's really the only Pokemon I want alive here. So that's why I'm just protecting it. I'm just wasting out some turns. I'm just kind of getting after it. The Empoleon is going to probably land the, the Hydro Pump, but it's going to do like negative 5 damage because <laughs> the uh, Drought's out here and it's Grass Terror type. So let's see how little damage this is going to do. Actually, a bit more than I thought it would do. A bit more than I thought it would do. He ends up Earth Powering. That is going to... I was going to say, that's going to take an Empoleon, but it doesn't. It does not. So from here, I'm just going to go into another Hydro Pump. Actually, Flash Cannon will get the job done. And shoot. Will it? I think it will. It's special attacking. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm just going to Poison Jab over onto you. We'll be fine with that. He ends up withdrawing Iron Hand. So Iron Hand's, dude, this guy just keeps swapping in and out. But we got the upper hand, which is gorgeous. And they're going to go into who? who? You got cooking right now. Crest? Yeah, out, out comes the Crest. Protect comes out from Torkoal. So he's trying to get Trick Room set up for the longest time here. We're just ripping damage. And I'm going for Poison Jabs over in the slot. This is absurd. This is absurd. The Flash Cannon now flies. It brings Crest down to almost dead. And we're hoping that the Poison can actually finish it off here. Can it? Let's go. Let's go. And Poion picking up a nice little KO there. We love it. So since we're targeting down this Torkoal, I think he brings back our Iron Hands for the fake all day, right? I think you easily bring out Iron Hands. Right? Yeah, Iron Hands comes back out here. And I 1,000% believe that he does not fake out. Actually, we should just play it safe. You know, we'll just do this. Well, yeah, we'll just play it safe. I was going to make a read, but there's, there's no point in making a read. There's no point in making a read when we can protect and just swap and dodge fake out altogether. So I was going to say, he's probably faking out Empoleon, so I should just attack with Okie Dogie. But I'm not going to risk this match. I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. There's no need to risk it. We got a huge upper hand in this battle. We're killing it. There's just no, there's just no need to risk it, right? Fake out comes out here, and yeah, the hard swap was just a good call. Earth power is gonna fly here, and we're soaking that up. Either. Awesome, dope, cool, awesome. So from here, I'll throw a Macha Gacha, and I'll just poison jab. If you want to swap in the Ursa Luna, you can. It's no big deal. Macha Gacha should be able to rip up, and they just cancel battle, outplaying our opponent like crazy in match number one. Hot start for us in match number one, but now we're loading up match number two. We are going up against a Grimmsnarl team. Alongside with Clefairy, Blood Moon, Ursa Luna, then they also have Sinistra, just like us, and then the Fire Ogre Pond, alongside with Gyarados. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like Weather is very, very safe. If they have Screens Grimmsnarl, we can go into a War Veil and kind of match their energy and get after the battle that way. So I like leading Ninetales. On top of that, I love leading the uh, Assault Vest and Polyon. I have Blizzard on that, so I can Blizzard spam in the snow if need be, and we can really get after it that way. Back end Pokemon, Urshfu is money. Absolutely love this guy. And then my final slot, I think I'm just going to bring Okie Dogie, a nice bulky Pokemon that can get some work done late game. Can't go wrong with it. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's get after this. Let's go back to back here. I would love to, especially with Empoleon. Empoleon did a little bit of work, but we were kind of playing up against a Trick Room team. So I kind of had to do something different, and leading Okie Dogie was perfect. Dropping the bulk ups. And then uh, canceling out Trick Room later in the match with Sinistra. Just worked out too perfectly for us. Our Okie Dogie then was just OP with plus 2 attack, plus 2 defense. And we were just getting after it from there because we already canceled out Trick Room. But let's see who they end up leading. Let's see. This is a nice little lead for us considering they cannot change up weather at all. They have nothing to actually change it up with. And we can just do our thing. War Veil can be set up all day long. They're going to go Grim Snarl alongside with Ogre Pond. So Grimmy Grim and Ogre Pond come out here. I got Empoleon, and I like the Blizzard spam here. He could Terra into Straight Fire, which is a little scary at that point, but it's also Grass typing as well. But again, Aura Veil 
gonna be your best friend. So I'm gonna set up the roar bell. I am going to go into. Mm, I think it's just hydro pump. I think hydro pump's just the best call. Do I Terra Water? No, I'm not gonna Terra Water. If he goes for a grass move, like that just hurts. So he ends up setting up Light Screen. And from here, he's just gonna go for an Ivy Cudgel here. Which is actually gonna KO me. Oh, it doesn't. I love you, Nine Tails. You were just a blessing. You were just a blessing. I was really expecting to go after Empoleon instead of Nine Tails, but that works out perfectly. That works out beautifully. So I get off a Water Bell, they get off Light Screen, I do some nice damage on Ogre Pond. And then from here, we're just going to drop a Blizzard, and on top of that, probably another Blizzard, or I could just Flash Kind of Grimstone out, which I'm going to do. I'm going to Flash Kind of Grimstone out, because I can pretty much get rid of Okie Dogie, or not Okie Dogie, uh, Ogre Pond, real easily with a nice uh, Terra Sucker Punch. But I might want to choice into Wicked Blow if they do end up getting off a Reflect, which so far they do not have. Because the critical hit is just so big. So he ends up going into Sinistra. Sinistra coming out here. Hospitality's going to come out here. Great, lovely ability. 25% HP. And Trailblaze. Oh, that's a, you're such a smart cookie. Such a smart cookie. Rocking Trailblaze. You don't really see that too much, but that's actually perfect for low HP Pokemon. You pick up the KO, and you get a speed boost on top of that. It's massive. I'm going to end up dropping a Flash Cannon. This match, our opponent is off to a hot start. And from here... I don't know if we can actually KO anymore. I have Dark Terror type. I got Water for you, which is actually great, but at the same time, it's not that good. Considering they have Grass moves. Hmm. I think I'm just going to Terra him. Terra and Sucker Punch. Actually, I don't know. This is tough. This is real tough. I mean, Wicked Blow is money. I'm not going to throw it this way. I don't want to go into like a uh, rage pattern kind of screw us over. And I'll just rip a blizzard. Blizzards are free. <clears throat> so we have the roar bell up here. I'm, I'm hoping that we can eat up a shot from him, right? So he's going to end up with on Sinistra. That's totally fine. And you're going to go back into Grimstone. And you're just going to go into Clefairy. And you're just going to spike your shield up. I feel you, but that's fine. I hit through that. <clears throat> nope, go for a horn leech. That's fine. That's even better. Cool. So horn leech comes through. Can we KO with this wick blow? We should be able to, I think. Crit. Oh no, we don't. Blizzard. Finish it off. Thank you very much. Awesome. So we get rid of the ogre pond. Ogre pond was a big problem. So we get rid of the ogre pond. I might want to hard swap my Urshifu for now, just to save it for later. But I could hard swap it into Sinistra, which wouldn't be a bad swap. Actually, I did not bring Sinistra. What am I thinking? But Grimstone comes out here. I'm, I'm cool with that. I actually am very cool with that. But could you go? Actually, yeah, no. Now it's time to hard swap you. So now it's the time to swap you into Okie Doki. I like it. And from here, we just start ripping flash cannons into either or. What would I rather rip a flash cannon into? Probably Clefairy, right? Grimstone's just gonna set up screens to do its own thing. Clefairy might put me to sleep, do all that stuff. So I'll withdraw the Urshfu. I will bring out Okie Dogie, and I still have Terra. I can still Terra. I got a Roar Bell, they got Light Screen. He probably sets up a Reflect here. That follow me comes out here, so Flash Cannon working perfectly with my boy. And we'll see what they want to do from here. I love the stance Empoleon takes. So tough. Love it. And the Spirit Break's gonna come out here. If he's going to Spirit Break me, I can actually soak that. I got Poison type in my blood. And you get a special attack shot, which is fine with physical attacking. So now seems like a perfect turn to just rip another Flash Cannon and just go for a bulk up. It just seems free, right? I'm going to rip a Flash Cannon in this slot just in case Clefairy protects. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Come on, man. This game's too easy. This game's too easy, so... We read the protect on that, and he's going to end up parting shot at me. That's fine. I mean, you get the attack drop, but we're just going to uh, boost our attack back to normal and get a nice little defensive boost. The parting shot comes out here. They still don't have reflect. They still do not have reflect out here, and it's all support, right? That's crazy. How, how do they expect to win this matchup? 
with Sinisha, Clefairy, and Grimstraw. Right? It's just not happening. Triple support? The triple supports out of Alan. Like, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. So I flash cannon over into Sinisha. And then from here, we can now go into just a poison jab into the uh, Sinisha and a flash cannon into Clefairy. This is weird. This is weird. Why would you bring in three supports? It's odd. Very odd. Very, very odd. I don't understand. I can see him just canceling battle, but three support Pokemon is crazy. That's just crazy. It's too much support, not enough attack. And once we took out the Oak Pond, we kind of pretty much wrap it up. So Poison Jab comes out of here, almost KO. So we get a Poison. We do not. And Flash Cannon's going to fly out of here, bring us in real low. And we got these people both on red. Heal Pulse comes out of here. Are you Strength Sapping now? That is a possibility. And no, they pop a trigger, which I, I don't, I don't mind, right? I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm gonna try to land a blizzard here. I'm definitely trying to land a blizzard. Do I bulk up blizzard? Or do I just let's just poison jab blizzard? Poison jab blizzard. So helping hand comes out here. And how hard is this sin? Hold up. How hard is this sin to hit? Macha gotcha coming. We know that for a fact. And my Empoleon Sajin. Helping hand Macha Gotcha is kind of scary, right? Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. As long as if we can land this blizzard. Polyon, do your thing. Do your thing! Come on, man. You really missing? At least you're hitting the Clefairy. But you're not KOing the Clefairy? Come on, man. You're better than that. You're way better than that. Give me poison. Thank you. That's my boy, Okie Dokie, getting after it. And yeah, this match is just... It's just ours. This match is just ours. So he's probably going to heal Pulse again. And at this point, I'm just going to flash cannon, take out the Clefairy, and just keep poison jabbing. This match is pretty... Like, it's... Uh, it just makes no sense to me for the for the three support Pokemon. It just makes no sense. So I'll poison jab again. I will go into a flash cannon here. And there's the heal pulse. This person's just wasting my time at this point. <laughs> Like, we know we're winning this match. Machi gotcha coming out here, and Empoleon. Nope, not Empoleon. I was gonna say Empoleon's dodging it, but I am not. But I'm soaking. Empoleon's typing is just so good. It really is. So, from here, Flash Cannon should get rid of the Clefairy, no problem. And Poison Jab gonna chuck up some nice damage onto the Sinister again. And again, all you have is Grimstraw on the back end. It's Cakewalk. It's Cakewalk for us. It's just a matter of, does this guy want to cancel, or does he just want to keep healing up? Like, it's, it's legit where we're at. Because their Pokemon cannot do enough damage to KO my Pokemon. I got Assault Vest, I got Leftovers, I got Drain Punch for HP Recovery. It's just too easy, man. They should have brought another attacker. If they did bring another attacker, they probably would have been sitting really, really well. But we had a War Belt on top of that, and everything just worked out perfectly. So they still haven't set up Reflect, which is a little odd. And Grip Snarl is going to come back out here. And from here, I'm just going to rip another Flash Cannon and another Poison Jab. Can you just cancel the battle? I'm recording here. I got I got videos to make. Can't be wasting my time with three support Pokemon. <laughs> so he sets up another Light Screen. Light Screen's back out and about. And Strength Sap comes out here. Like, come on, man. You got to knock it off with, <laughs> with all this. I'm about to just start bulking up for the next 10 turns. The Flash Cannon coming in hot here. Doing some beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. Poison Jab coming out here. We are minus one now. We are chunking it up. And... I think we'll just double down the Grimstraw at this point. I really do think doubling into Grimstraw is probably our player. Because he could Parting Shot in me. I just want to sink dead. I just want to sink dead. So I'll double down the Grimstraw. Can you just cancel the battle, my guy? I knew this was over once we took out the Ogre Pond. Thank you. There it is. Battle is canceled. We're 2-0. Let's go grab ourselves the perfect record in the third match. Final match coming at you guys. And let's grab ourselves a perfect record. We're 2-0. and Would love to grab ourselves a perfect record. But we're going up against a meta squad. So you know it's going to be tough. They got the Fire Ogre Pond with Tornadus, Urshifu, Rillaboom, Shen Pao, and Landers. 
super tough. It's gonna be super tough. But who should I lead? How should I go into this? I think they bring Tornadus as a lead. So I'm gonna lead my Tornadus as well. I think this is just a simple call. I think it's fine. And the reason I think they lead Tornadus is they can cancel weather out that way. So going into that is gonna be pretty good for us. And then Okie Dokie might be just a solid lead. Especially if they don't go into a fake out user, I can always just bulk up and get that beautiful defense boost, which I love. So I'll do that. I will bring Urshfu in the back end. And then last but not least, we're going to bring Empoleon yet again. Empoleon has just been so much fun to use. And I love that Pokemon, so I'm going to use it every chance I get. But we're 2 0. 2 0, it's a good feeling when your record is guaranteed. And another thing I won is my fantasy week. You guys do fantasy football? Let me know in the comment section down below. I have two leagues. One league I'm now 3 2 in. That's actually a two-man league. I'm in there with my buddy. And then the league that I'm alone with that I actually care about a lot, I was 0-4. I was struggling. But I won this week, so I'm super happy. I'm super happy. But my team's pretty good. My team is pretty solid. I went with the Joe Burrow route, and I stacked him with Jamar Chase, and it hasn't really been working for me early in the season. But it's starting to go up now. And I have Cooper Cup as well, and he just came back. So my team's looking pretty good. I got Travis Etienne running back, and then uh, Ramondre Stevenson's my other running back. And then I'll either have Miles Sanders or Chris Godwin in the flex. And Miles Sanders hasn't been playing too hot. So Chris Godwin will be my flex. So my team's pretty solid. Just haven't been winning games. But I feel like we, we got some uh we got some good goodness coming up very, very soon. Considering we just got our first dub. And then I got Cup Chase going off. I'm liking I'm liking where we're at. But uh they go Shen Pao, they go Landers. Uh from here, I think we just set up a tailwind, right? I think tailwind's pretty simple. And do we bulk up here? Or do we just get after him? I think I'm going to Terra and just Strain Punch. I think that's more so my play. Because they have a ground move, and I'm not dealing with the ground move. And they're going to also Terrasalize here. Is that going to be Shen? He's, he's going Ghost-type, aren't you? Okay, cool. You're not. Awesome. Love him. You're going straight flying. So a nice Terra in the water is going to be great for us. I don't feel like dealing with the with the air moves coming after me. And if I had to guess, that Pokemon's probably Choice Scarf. Right? A lot of landers nowadays are Choice Scarf. I would have loved to lead my Empoleon. I could have got a competitive boost and just ripped. That should be my play. That should have been my play. So I get the beautiful water tower cooking. I like it with the okie dokie. And Tailwind flies so we get some speed control on the squad. There's a tad bit of speed control. Terror Blast can come in hot here. Okie dokie should be able to soak pretty well here. He's rather bulky, right? He's a rather bulky Pokemon. Wow, that's a huge chunk of damage. I don't like that. Train Punch now flies. I like this, though. Because I bring you down to Sash, and I get back a ton of HP. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I'll get back HP. I should be able to soak up the shots. And we'll go from there. 148. Oh, we like that. Let's see what Shen Pao does. She's going to go for an Avalanche. Okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind, I don't mind him dying after getting off Tailwind. That's big time for us. That is big time. So from here, I honestly think Empoleon's a play. Because if I can land one Blizzard, we will be sitting gorgeous. We will be sitting in a lovely little position. And that's what I'm going to try to do. And I might just protect Okie Dogie this turn. Because if I can land one Blizzard, that's all I need on both Pokemon. it will be some big time damage on the Landorus. And on top of that, that will KO the Shin Pao. But let me just see this thing's speed real quick. What speed you got? 81. You're actually not faster than any of them in the Tailwind. Which kind of sucks. Which really sucks. But actually, I can go first turn priority move here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go first turn priority, and I'm just going to go for a nice poison jab in this slot. It ends up sucker punching me. That's fine. That's cool. I'm dead now. And vacuum move is just going to finish him off. So he's going to finish me off with his lovely little move. Of Terra Blast, right? Correct. And yeah, so Okie Dogie's gonna die here. And we're forced to go into my boy, Urshfu. The Choice Scarf and just how fast his Pokemon are, even the mine and the Tailwind, is absurd. They're just out there outspeeding the Tailwind, which is crazy. That's how fast the meta Pokemon are. They're just so good. But I have one more Pokemon left. I have Urshfu. And Urshfu, I might want to choice into Sucker Punch. It really depends who they throw out here. And we'll see. And we'll kind of play off of that. And he's just going to be able to outspeed me, right? This is ugly. This is ugly. Because if he's choice Scarf, he's just going to be able to finish me off with like, everything. 
I'm gonna try to go for a wizard at least, and I'm just gonna sucker punch. I'm gonna try again. Your choice scarf all day. How much damage are we doing this? It's a lot of damage, but that's not enough. We're dead. Yeah, we're losing this match all day long. No problem. No problem. Yeah, they're they're probably, the, the meta squads are insane, and we're just getting ripped here. Match number uh, in match number three. I think this Terra Landers was just so perfect. Urshfu's gonna close combat me. That's night night. Game set match. Plus we're missing our blizzards. Did we miss both of them? We missed both of them. What a way to finish off today's video. Close combat. Game set match. No problem. We're dead. But hey, 2-1 winning record. Can't really complain too much. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Showcasing Empoleon on the rank ladder. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Use it in all three battles. And hey, 2-1 winning record. Like I said, cannot complain about that. Okie Doki was actually really, really good in today's video as well. Alongside with the Ninetales, Tornado, Sinistra, and Urshfu. This team was just super strong on the rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.